One of the most sought after side effects of minimalism is no doubt relief from stress. If you think about it, a lot of the things that we do are simply a response or a reaction to stress or anxiety in our lives. There are so many vices, practices, and therapies that we pour ourselves into to keep the stress at bay. But you have to admit, a practice of minimalism is one of the simplest, most cost effective, and probably physically safe methods of stress relief that's available to absolutely everyone. In fact, I would say it's probably only second to something like breathing techniques. Once you've accomplished it, it's just in place. It doesn't require any additional effort on your part. Now in the spirit of this topic of stress and your space, I'm sharing my free audio training, Train Your Brain to Be Clutter Free. This includes three five minute meditation meets affirmation style audio trainings. They are quite relaxing and totally free for you. So I'll leave the link to that down in the description. Today, I'm going to show you how you can use the principles of minimalism to reduce stress in yourself, your space, and just your life in general. So go ahead and click the thumbs up and let's dive in. So the first thing to consider is that minimalism realigns and amplifies priorities. We tend to greatly overestimate the importance of just about everything. A lot of times it becomes really blurry what our priorities even are because everything starts to feel so important. Even things that are clearly not important, like you know what the neighbor down the street's doing or what somebody said to you in passing. Just there are so many things that buy for our attention. And because we feel that everything is so very very important, a lot of times we convince ourselves that we need to do, have, or be everything that catches our attention. We force so much stuff onto our plates, belongings, schedules, responsibilities, all of these things. We just cram it all in and force it all onto our plate to the point where honestly, sometimes we can't stop. Have you ever experienced that before where you're super busy and you're go, 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 and then all of a sudden you have a lull, a period of lull where you don't have as much to do and you feel like, Am I forgetting something? Is something wrong? And you start trying to think of other things that you can cram onto your plate. Our bodies get so used to operating in overdrive that it almost feels like something's not quite right when they're not. So many people experience insomnia because they can't shut down the machine when it's time to sleep. Anxiety pill usage is at a max and alcohol and drugs are used as part of a daily diet for a huge portion of the population. So minimizing and using the principles of minimalism in all of these areas in your schedule schedule, in your house and your belongings and the things that you allow to take your attention and to give a care about, honestly, can really help to alleviate this whole squirrel effect. When you stop caring about every little thing and truly prioritize what it is that you want out of your life, you can minimize the overwhelming excess and breathe a whole lot easier. The second consideration is that decluttering, the act of letting go itself, actually has cathartic effects. It's relieving and it places you in a position of choice, which also places you in a position of power. So this can help to build confidence, but also to give stress an outlet to physically work its way out of your body. How many of you know that when you start getting stressed, you store that tension in your muscles and in different areas of your body. So moving your body and physically releasing things and letting go of stuff gives you an outlet to release that stress. Now to choose, of course, is to reject. So I encourage you to really embrace this term of reject, even though it doesn't necessarily have a pretty connotation to it. A lot of people are afraid of the word rejection, but I encourage you to change the way that you think about that word. The entire course of our lives is pretty much based on a variety of rejections. Every decision you make is a rejection. If you think about when you went to college or whatever profession you happen to be in, selecting that profession or selecting that major in college was thereby rejecting all of the other professions, all of the other majors. This is the case of every decision, every big decision in life choice and direction and transition that we've had in our entire lives. It's all a process of rejecting by nature. But rejecting means more time and energy for you in the big picture. And I want you to think about that literally for a second, literally big picture. So if you think of your life as one giant painting, one big piece of art, would you want all of that extra stuff in it, cluttering up your masterpiece, all of the extra things that you've been dumping your time into, all of the extra junk that you've been filling your space with and looking at every day? Would you want that to be a part of this big life masterpiece that you're in the process of creating? Would it enhance your painting or would it make it sloppy? You know, a lot of us are living just sloppy lives, kind of working through the day and slapping things together and overwhelming and not even taking a moment to stop and prioritize because it feels like 
everything is constantly going and falling apart. Some people are so stressed and just living sloppy lives like that because they're not taking the time to prioritize and reject the things that aren't important. And everything is just kind of slopped together and it feels very overwhelming and they're constantly struggling through their day, trying to piece a bunch of things together just to make it through while never being able to fully reap the benefits of what they're working so hard for. Treat your time like expensive chocolates instead of cheap popcorn, you know, be a little bit stingy. Number three is that minimalism helps to control the ebb and flow of your energy. So here's the thing, our energy and stress are directly impacted by two things, our schedule and our environments. We gain our energy from our environment and we spend it in our schedule. Creating white space in your calendar, practicing saying no and rejecting those things that aren't important. I say this all the time, your space can either drain you or it can fill you up. And I'm sure you've experienced that on some level inside of your own home. No matter where you live, you can create a space that rejuvenates your energy and fills you up. You just have to allow it. And you allow it by not holding on to everything and by rejecting the things that drain your energy the clutter, broken junk that frustrates you, uh, stacks of paper that give you anxiety attacks. That's where minimizing comes in and why minimalism for stress relief is so important right there on the front lines in your home. So again, our environment has the ability to recharge, relax, and rejuvenate us. And then we spend that energy as we see fit by accepting and rejecting different options in our schedule with our time. When this gets out of balance on either end, our environments or our schedule, stress is inevitable. There is research-based evidence of the psychological effects of clutter, and I share all about it in this video to my left, so go check that out if you haven't already. 